Years after falling off something of a metaphorical cliff, Lindsay Lohan is back in bright form in the better than average Christmas theme movie Falling for Christmas, Netflix, November 10. The film, from director Jane Campion, I'm kidding, it's directed by the capable Janine Damien, concerns a wealthy hotel heiress, Sierra, who takes a nasty tumble while backcountry skiing, bonks her head on a tree, in real life she would very much be dead, and wakes up with amnesia. When a kindly, struggling lodge owner, Jake, Daniel Day Lewis, no, I'm joking, it's court over street, takes her in, Sierra, now called Sarah, learns the true meaning of love, family, career, and, of course, Christmas. So it's a story of reinvention for an actor trying to do the same. It mostly works a treat. Lohan's performance is perky and agreeable, a shimmer of that old mean girls, or, hell, parent trap, charm dancing around her for the first time in a while. I'd happily watch her in more after this, though preferably in something a bit meatier than a Hallmark knockoff. We're falling for Christmas really committed to telling a fun story, pre-amnesia Sierra would be a total nightmare, mean and spoiled and abusive to staff. But in this version of things, she is instead just a little entitled and shallow. She dreams of becoming an influencer, rather than taking a role at her dad's resort hotel conglomerate, which I guess is her major character conflict. Other than the amnesia, of course, it's really her social climbing boyfriend, Tad, Ian McKellen, sorry, I'll stop, it's George Young, who's the jerk. But even he's not that bad, and he gets his own little arc that leads him somewhere interesting. To the film's credit, it only mimics the more amiable aspects of schlocky Christmas fare. Jake is the softly rugged archetype, he's got a precocious daughter, Olivia Perez, a devoted old mother-in-law, Alejandro Flores, and a sad backstory involving a dead wife. That's all acceptably standard issue. As is the Christmas-obsessed town with these two resorts, Sierra's family's Tony one, Jake's homey but failing one, lay their scene. There's the requisite cheer in the air, and an old potentially mystical man who looks a lot like the guy upstairs. Meaning Santa, not God, but really, what's the difference? What Falling for Christmas doesn't take parts genres gnarlier, more conservative trappings. So many of these movies are about brittle urban career women who get a lesson in small town family values as a way to shake them out of the selfishness of their ambition. 